In this video, I will show you how to create this dashed line using a custom shader, which can be very useful for a VR project to uh, enhance your teleportation logic compared to the default solid line. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. Here I am in my project. First thing that we need to have is a dash texture. So this is a dashed line that I will be using to create my custom material and later a shader. You will be able to download this texture from a link in the description of this video. Now, if we try to apply this as a texture for a default lead material for the particle, which is one that is used by the line render that in case of the XR projects, this teleportation line is being rendered. So the line render uses this particle unlit shader, for example, and we can apply this texture to our base map. And as you can see, it has spaces on the right and on the left of it. And that's what we want to have to create our dashed line shader. So when you have this dashed line texture, we need to create a custom shader. I'm using universal render pipeline. So I will right click in the project section, create, I will select the shader graph URP and I will select sprite unlit shader graph. And that's what I want to create. And I'm going to call it dashed line. And I will add two because I have already one of those shaders created. Okay, and let's open this shader up by double tapping on it. I will maximize mine. And now we have our shader. First thing that we need to do is go to our blackboard. And here we are going to add a new uh, texture by clicking this plus icon texture today. I'm going to call mine main text. Okay, and I'm going to select here uh, in the graph inspector. I'm going to select the default texture and I will select my dash texture. Now, if I'm going to create a new node, so right click create node and I'm going to call sample texture 2D and I'm going to use the main text as the input for the texture of the sample texture 2D, we're going to get nothing more than the default texture shown by the default shader that we can create by creating a new material in Unity. Now, obviously we want to drag the RGBA output to the base color and the alpha output to the alpha of the fragment shader to have it displayed in our preview, but still it will not be moving. So to make it move, we need to use tiling an offset node, you can simply press spacebar to create a new node or right click and create a new node. And now we will want to tile it. To tile it, we need to create a new vector too, and we are going to pass it as the tiling input, but we have no values here. So we are going to pass, for example, one and one, and this is the default tiling, and we can drag the output of it to the UV node of our sample texture 2D. Now what we can do is increase the X value and as you can see in the main preview we are increasing the number of the dashes on our line so what we can do is create in the shader graph uh, blackboard a new variable of type float so let's find it float and we are going to call it number of dashes obviously we may want to keep it as integer or a float uh, depending on what you want to achieve. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to type in the graph inspector as the default value six, for example, and this should give us six dashed lines to be rendered. Okay, now next step is to make this line move in one direction. And to do this, we need to create a time node. So let's press spacebar and let's type time and we should have the time node here. Now, what we want to do is multiply the time. Then let's uh, drag it and type multiply. As the input of the multiply node, we are going to take time and we need to increase the or decrease the speed which we want to apply uh, for the movement of, the, of our dashes. So I'm going to go to the shader blackboard. I'm going to add another float type speed. And let me just fix the name. And I'm going to set the speed to be, for example, four. I want to use it by dragging it to our uh, node uh, section. And I'm going to drag this as the input of the multiply node to multiply the time by this speed. Now uh, we need to subtract our time from our tiling or add it depending on which way we want to move our line. So let's right click on it and delete this connection between the tiling and offset and the sample texture. And instead let's type split because we need to access the R 
uh, value, which is the X value of our tiling and offset. I'm going to move those nodes a bit uh, to the right. And now I'm going to add a subtract node. So drag R value from the split, let's type subtract. Okay. And now we can see that we can subtract something and we are going to subtract the multiplication result of our time. Okay, now we can't really have uh, see anything in the preview. So what we need to do now is we need to connect the this value with the G value, so Y value of our tiling and offset. So we are going to create a new vector two from the value as the X, we are going to pass the subtraction result and as the Y value, we are going to pass from the split node, the G value, which is simply the Y uh, coordinate from the, our tiling and offset node. Now, if we pass this output as the UV input for our sample texture 2D, we are going to see that now this is uh, this texture is moving to the right. If we have used add node instead of subtract, we would have it moving to the left. Okay, and that's basically it, how we are going to create this shader. Now, if you want to learn more about shaders in Unity, check out the Unity Shader Bible by Jetelli. The link will be in the description. Okay, now all we need to do is unmaximize this shader graph and select it in our project uh, window because now we are going to right click on it, create, and we are going to select material to create a new material out of it and we need to apply it to our line render. In my case of an XR project, it will be in the XR rig or XR origin nowadays. We are going to select uh, left hand controller which has the line render and I'm going to apply my material and now it should have this dashed line material on it and of course we can control in the material settings the number of dashes and the speed of the movement. Okay, now you should see that your line render is outputting a dashed line that is moving and in my case it works correctly with the teleportation logic in a VR project. Obviously, if I go to the inspector and modify this for the number of dashes, let's select three and let's make them move very fast. So let's set the speed to be 10. Let's go back to our game. Okay, as you can see, it moves almost, it looks almost like a solid line, but those are three lines moving very fast uh, using this shader. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you'll find this shader interesting or useful for some of your projects. See you in the next tutorial.